Hey everyone, Janice here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my teen calendar and notebook. And I use a Levenger Circa, which is a disc bound system. And I used aluminum one and a half inch discs. So they didn't come with those. I swapped them for these larger discs. They were like little black ones they come with. And I don't know if you're familiar with disc systems, but the idea is that you can swap out covers. So in the fall, I pull out my brown with tortoiseshell and oxblood and um, the covers come off. Let me see if I can do this and show you on camera. So you can swap out and not hurt anything. And the same thing with the paper. The idea with this system is that you can easily take out and put back in. It doesn't rip the paper at all. So um, the Levenger comes in different notebooks. They even have one that looks like a traveler's notebook with the elastic, which I think is really fun. Levenger is a little bit pricey. Back in 08, when I first saw it, we had an outlet down here in Delray Beach. But today, you know, there's so many options of disk systems. So for example, if you go to Office Depot, Office Max, they have Tool. It's the same idea. You can see the little disks you can swap out. And if you go to Staples, they have Arc. And the thing that's cool about disk systems is you can use some of these others interchangeably with the Circa. I use Arc in here, and I'm actually using tool paper to show you. So um, that's something to keep in mind because the other brands are a little bit less expensive. And the way um, you, you can buy paper, so let me just say that, you can buy Levenger paper, which I have. The Circa paper is not cheap. This was about $35 on Amazon for 300 sheets. Um, it's a nice quality paper, but it is expensive. Uh, or at least I think that's expensive. And you can get a portable punch. I keep this with me when I'm on the road. And I have the big punch also that I just leave it at home um, to make your own paper. So why don't we get started? This is gonna be a long video. Okay. So, um, let me just show you the inside. It comes with a little um, ruler. I always have something epic. I found this on the plane. I work on epic. So <laughs> that's just a little something. This is a Microsoft calendar. It's a template for free that I got in Word. And you can just washi tape and hole punch sheet protectors in and slip in whatever you want. And that's all I've done here is just use a plain old sheet protector and washi it and hole punched it. Now I'm gonna show you the calendar and um, I'm gonna go back to the key in a minute here. This calendar is actually not what came with Levenger. I bought at a glance and what I did was I took the calendar from my at a glance and put it in my Levenger. And this is the second year in a row I'm doing that. And I'll show you what I love so much is that, look how big these boxes are. <laughs> I'm in my 40s, my eyesight's going, and I just appreciate big boxes. Okay, <laughs> so um, I'm just gonna tell you, this is a mock-up of what I actually do. I can't show you my client's actual information. That would be a breach of my non-disclosure agreement. So <laughs> I don't think it detracts from what I'm gonna show you. I think the tips still apply, but I'm just not showing their specifics because that would be wrong. Okay. With that, this is a gussied up version. So what I mean by that, it's kind of like the Griswold Christmas tree, right? Like there's a lot of color, there's washi tape, there's stickers. If you're not comfortable with all of this and you think it's a waste of money or you're uncomfortable because it's work and you don't want somebody looking over your shoulder and questioning what you're doing, then I think what I would recommend is you can still use these concepts, but not with these specific tapes and labels. I'll show you what I mean by that. Why don't we just get into it and I'll explain. So um, first out, what I do is I mark off project phases. So I'm a project manager. And what I have here, again, I didn't use my client specific, but I picked just um, software development lifecycle, waterfall. And that starts with requirements phase. And then I put the washi for analysis, design, coding, testing, acceptance, and then go live run. So that's just an example. Um, project managers may also be familiar with like PMI phases of a project and, um, you know, initiating, planning, 
all of that. You can put whatever words make sense to you. If you're a teacher, maybe you want to mark off spring break. If you're accounting, you might want to mark off like end of month. Um, if you're a student, final exams, midterms, whatever makes sense for you. I suggest if it's spanning over dates, make you know the washi kind of go across it so visually you always know. And then make yourself a little key. I love these keys. I got these at Michael's. I wish I had bought more. <laughs> they were in the dollar bin. And um, I just do a tip in and then I fold it out. And so I always have a key of what the color like pink was requirements phase and I would write the dates. So I always have a quick reference and I think that's important to know where you are at work in terms of if you do projects, certainly phases. And like I said, I think it applies for other professions as well. Even like public relations, there might be quiet times and safe harbor considerations where you can't disclose information filing deadlines, you know, you can block all of that off with washi. Now, the next thing I have is, I'm gonna just say, circles to me are meetings. So I don't try to build my Outlook calendar at work into my paper calendar. Let me start there. So what you see is important meetings. If there was some kind of kickoff or something specific to a team, and I do color code my teams, I'll get to that in a minute, but basically circles to me, these big circles, mean there was some kind of important meeting on that day. Like there's something that I need to be aware of, okay? And the little circles, I'll go there next. This is a Calendex system. So Eddie Hope invented the Calendex. If you go to bulletjournal.com, I'll put a link below. You'll see how he did it in his bullet journal. And it's gonna look a little different because I prefer calendars with boxes laid out like in the traditional way. Um, so it looks different in bullet journal, but the concept is that you're combining a calendar and an index. So each one of these little circles, I'm using Markham dots, is a page number in my notes section. So for example, um, let me just flip to my notes. I'm gonna skip through that. So a 144 four would be, you know, for 144. Four. And let me just say, I don't use dailies. I actually just write in the date on my notes and I just write notes however I want to write notes. I don't have any method to it. And I'll talk about that in a second. So the idea is that the day of the week, you just put the page number of the notes so you can always reference back. So your calendar becomes an index. That's Calendex. Okay, now let me just talk a minute about paper. So Love and Jerk has very interesting paper format that it comes with. And I don't love it, but it's a good quality paper. If you use fountain pens, you probably have heard people rave about Love and Jerk. But um, the idea, it has a, a column here for note taking using the Cornell system. And the Cornell system, I'm not an expert, but basically you put the topic and what's important in the left, and then you do your notes. And then at the bottom, you would do a summary, or if there was like any abbreviations you had to remember, that would go at the bottom like a key. And this particular Levenger paper had a little calendar on it, but I'm not really using that. I would just write the date here. And this is this or this are the common Levenger notebook papers. And I really didn't like this. Actually, it prevented me from using leverage for, for a while because I thought this was wasted space. I didn't know what to put here and I would scribble. And eventually I just went to a normal paper. And right now I'm experimenting with Tool. Like I said, you can mix and match. Tool's a little bit cheaper. So I'm trying the Tool paper out in my notebook. Okay, so just take notes however I need to. And um, let me go back to the calendar for a minute. So the only other thing in my calendar that I keep are squares. And the squares mean something is due and something big. Um, so if I have to have 100% of my programming complete, my build, I would make a note there. If there's test scripts due or some kind of sign off due, I use little square labels for that. So it's pretty simple. I mean, round is meeting, square is deliverables, and the washi is phases. And then of course the Calendex page numbers. So that's my tips on that. If you want the color coding and you like how that looks, you can use highlighter instead of washi. But if you don't want color in your notebook, you can certainly find another way to 
do the calendex, just write the page number or draw a circle like or stencil a circle or some kind of visual cue on what you're trying to track. My recommendation is don't try to track everything in a paper calendar. That would be a lot and it's really not necessary if you're using Outlook. Outlook has appointments as well as tasks. So you can put a lot in there. Okay. The only other thing I wanted to share is that I also, um, much like bullet journal indexing, I put little um, stickers here on my tab for the different teams I have. So the first sticker is actually people because I'm always trying to track the decision makers, who the subject matter experts are, who the approvers are, you know, who needs to be informed of any kind of changes. So um, people got pink and I'll go through the list and then I have my teams listed and then I track decisions and I track risks. And the way it looks in my notebook, I don't know if you could see that very well, but what I do is I actually put little stat stickers and tabs here. So if I do this, I don't know if this will show. Yeah, you can kind of see a little bit how it lines up and you can feel it. So some people I've seen do highlighter there instead of stickers, and that's not a bad option. It's just that you have to rely on the visual cue, whereas I can pretty much feel that I have a tab there, which is a little bit easier, I think. So it's another indexing of notes as it pertains to the team. Okay, and then I have my phone list. I usually keep um, agendas. Let me just flip. I took out what I had in here, but it's a plastic pocket. This one is Circa. Uh, let me just show you. You can buy it like this. And again, if you don't have this, you can just use sheet protectors like I did in the beginning and washi tape. I keep minutes sometimes, if it was specifically the follow-ups from a previous meeting. And then in the back, I always have tip sheets. I just did an Outlook tip sheet for the team. And um, I keep extra stickers in the back. And these tabs, let me just show you. In case you think, gosh, that's a lot of money, it's so wasteful. These I got at Hobby Lobby. There's 525 in the container, and it was $1.99. So I don't feel too bad using them as tabs. It works for me. But again, if that is just a bit silly, you don't feel, you know, you want to be wasteful, maybe that's wasteful to people, just use highlighter or some way that you can track um, how to, you know, quickly look up a note for a specific team. And that's my team calendar and notebook. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching today. Ciao for now.